In today's world it takes more than just be being anonymous to keep your privacy. Cameras are everywhere. You are being recorded, tracked, your every action followed. Your name doesn't matter. You wear your ID, your face is you, and everything you do. There is no avoiding it. There is no stopping it. It's time for a disturbance, a disruption, solution. With this mask you can be anybody, be whatever you want, whoever you want. Edward Snowden, Iron Man, or even Donald Trump. This mask is a concept, an idea, a starting point. A way to take back your privacy, your control. Let's go. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Sean Hodgins, and welcome back to my channel. Oh, I feel like I've been down in that basement for weeks. 37 weeks, 5 days, 4 hours, 28 minutes, and 12 seconds. That was weird. Uh, so I'm calling this the projection mask. It was an idea I came up with. It was my idea. That would allow me to project any image onto my own face. Your face? It does kind of make you feel weird when you wear it though. Not weird. Good. Uh, anyway, um, let me show you how I built it and then uh, stick around to the end because I have a really cool- It's gonna be super cool. Anyways. Let's go. There's a Raspberry Pi Zero in here. A little adapter circuit board from the Pi Zero to the Pico projector, which is this right here. And a small fan, because I didn't know how much heat this would produce. It doesn't really need it. The face is a modified Thingiverse file. It's a remake of Kongorilla. A bunch of people have remade it, so I think I downloaded it from someone who remade it. I changed it so that there's mounting holes here and on the chin so that was easier to make the projector more aligned and this is a wooden dowel connected to some more 3d printed parts there's only about four parts total that you have to 3d print and they're all available on thingiverse so you can just download them and print them the way i have it uh, sit on my head is i found this welder's head strap and it's on amazon it's really cheap i think it's only 30 or 40 dollars and I drilled some holes here that align with the mask holes. To hold the mask on, I used these uh, threaded, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but there's a link for them somewhere. But see, they hold it on here, and then they don't stab you in the head on the other side. And interesting enough is that this mask will actually bend back a little bit when you're wearing it. Now there's some supports in the bottom mount that stop it from doing this, but this is actually compensated in the video and it's slightly off when it's just sitting here on the test bench. So any slight misalignment makes everything kind of go out of whack because of the way that it projects on. For power, I have one of these Anchor, I think it's 10,000 milliamp hour battery packs, and then a USB to 5.5 millimeter by 2.1 millimeter barrel jack, right angle. So this is just zip tied underneath, and then I put the battery pack down my collar, and then it just kind of hangs there. This has been running for about an hour, and there's been no drain on the battery, which is crazy. So. I would guess that you're going to get a couple of hours out of this, which is perfect for going to a Halloween party or something. I designed a custom circuit board because the Pico projector is actually designed for the BeagleBone pinout, and the Raspberry Pi pinout is obviously much different. So all this does is adapt the lines from the Raspberry Pi to the BeagleBone, so really all you need is 
two sets of headers and headers for the Pi Zero if you want. I did also put some circuitry to uh, make sure the Pi is getting the correct voltage, but I didn't actually use it in this project. I just jumped the 5 volts to the 5 volt uh, Pi line and then bypassed all that. Works fine. The other thing is that there is circuitry to control the fan, so there's just a MOSFET and a resistor and then a fan header. So you can actually control the fan properly. So this is the website where I got a bunch of the information on setting up the uh, projector. This website's very useful. Um, so it shows you what you have to change in the configuration so that the Pi will output to the projector instead of HDMI. It's got the pinouts and everything, but that's all done in the circuit board if you use that. However, I changed one thing. This frame buffer width and height I swapped because we're actually going to have it in portrait mode. So that's the only difference and yeah, I'll provide a link to this so you can see. Now here's an example of one of the videos that is played onto the mask. You can see that it's masked off around where the mask is actually going to have something projected onto. And the reason it's cut off here is because the hood covers the actual edges of the mask. The other reason is why it's shaped like this is it's actually bent back from the projector. You're actually looking at the mask from this angle, well the projector is, but everyone else is looking at the mask from this angle. So you have to do some skewing of the images. So it makes it a little bit difficult when you're trying to put a face on. This one works really well just because of its design, but if we go to Edward Snowden here, you see he's very wide at the bottom and then like it's narrowed at the top, so he's actually, the perspective has been changed to be leaning back. So in Photoshop, I took a bunch of faces and I aligned them with the actual mask. And then from there I saved them and I use them in here. That will allow you to put different faces on the mask. So once you have everything built... You can make creepy videos to project like this. I also discovered that the strokes alone look much better than the solid colors. Now you can put on any face you like. Or even some cool animations. So right now the way I'm controlling this is I'm using an Android app. It's called Rasp Controller. And with this app, you can make custom commands. You can run them just like you would in a terminal, but they're at the press of a button, so it's much easier. So the Raspberry Pi is connected to my network. Phone is connected to my network. And let's say I run the intro video. Then it's going to tell the Pi to play the video which will output onto the screen. What's cool is you have a terminal here so you can also escape the video. It gives you lots of control. So I'm using uh, OMX player to play the video and I have changed the Raspberry Pi's resolution to the exact resolution of the projector but in portrait mode so it's long this way like when you're holding a phone up. And that gives me the full, almost the full resolution on the face without losing too much. Also, I can control the fan of the app, which is awesome. Things with fans are cool. So yeah, that is the projection mask project for Halloween. I had a couple of extra features that I wanted to implement on this, but I just really didn't have time. So I think I'm going to continue working with this. Uh, one cool thing is that you could actually use this as like a telepresence thing so you could hang this on someone else then like Skype in or something to this device and that person becomes you or you could hang it on a wall as like an art installation another thing is I wanted to put the Raspberry Pi camera here and then have a button that would take a picture of someone you're looking at and then steal their face put it on your face that's kind of creepy anyways I hope to see other people building one of these, and I hope to see some out in the wild. And, as always, everyone, be good, and happy Halloween.
One last thing, real quick. I'm doing a real life treasure hunt. If you go to 13thkey.com, it's with this mask. It inspired a whole bunch of things. There's some puzzles you have to solve. And there's a real 14 karat key, golden key that you can find in real life. So go check it out.